you know, packaging it into a very short space of time is, is you know, keeping guys under pressure and, you know, not overthinking it, but also giving them the freedom to uh, break the rules. And uh, I'm pretty sure some good stuff's going to come out. Sun Muna. Hello. Hi. So basically, as you can hear, the ads are going to be lighthearted, quick, spontaneous and stuff like that. A tweet could come in and say, uh, please create an ad for mothers who are 35 to 50 and tell them how Testic Rice cooks perfectly every single time. This ad for Testic Rice may not be perfect. I'm not a mother. In fact, I'm not even a woman. Even the music is pretty bad. Would you do this? You would be in studio. So you'd be, be sitting in there studio. in with the DJ, you'd yes. get the tweet, and you'd walk away, you'd go outside into these studios, and you'd yes. record and come back. Yes. I think it's very nice. I came in like a wrecking ball. I never felt so hard before. Shut up. I've got a little fuckle. Yeah, beautiful voice. Dane. We did this for the Lexus um, ES. Uh, don't be afraid to clap and to shout things like, Melusi, we love you. We could spend the next couple of seconds trying to explain to you how the adaptive front lights on the Lexus LS work. But we thought, why not show you? The idea can work really well. Thank you, Bits, and the radio advertising brew. It's just a radio spot with um, content asking for money. You know, but the ad is just like a bleeding rhino. I don't actually want to see a bleeding rhino. No, I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't the car siren. Okay, next. Three, two, and one. Did you test this the, the system out, um, not only in your agency, outside of your agency? Um, A lot, yes, yes. And it we just didn't, yes, we just didn't test it here because we couldn't. Look, I don't mind if it's, like, I don't mind if something's a normal radio ad. I think the point of today is that it just mustn't be crap radio. Yes. Yeah. I was trying to follow it and then I kind of mm. started thinking about what I'm going to eat for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't think it's embarrassing. Yeah, I think we've done it. We've made the sound of a confused zombie stumbling into a rotor bed at a fun fair. <laughs> awesome, let's hear it. Can't wait. Very strong idea, I like it, very good. Uh, you're going to probably have to generate some tweets. It depends a lot on the, the station and the DJs themselves, you know, to collaborate and create that in studio environment however they see fit and what's natural for their programming, so. If the siren made you nervous, it could mean that you're over the limit. Pull over to your nearest service station and call a friend. I really love the innovation, and I think it's clever and it's very simple. Well, actually, I'm not sure what ad you're referring to that it's been done before. Nando's did it as well. Nando's did it? Yeah. Suntime did it. Okay. But anyway, that's it. Cool. Oh, right. One, I personally, two. I thought it was brilliant. I liked it. Um, thank you, Jenny Glover. I would give that, I'm giving that a 10. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye. And the four are in no order. <clears throat> FCB with Lexus, Fox with Stir Kinnacle, YNR for Celtics, and Black River for live ad tweets. So. Well done. Well done. I think it's panned out well. Uh, what it, it does prove is that radio continues to be a difficult medium. We were looking for innovation. Uh, we're looking for something that disrupted convention and, uh, and that rewarded, I think, the listener as opposed to just, it was innovative but it didn't work. And, uh, and I think something that involved people and rewarded them, as I say, at the same time uh, were the things that went through. There are a couple of ideas that have got real legs. So, yeah, I'd like to have done a couple of them. I won't say what. <laughs> <laughs>